Generally, I look to improve in the games I play. Along with me are many others that try to do the same thing. It's pretty common to look up guides or watch videos of other people playing or providing tips. However, it's less common for people to record their own gameplay and analyze it. In this series, we take a look at one or two longer fights per video and analyze our mistakes. And maybe this way we can learn together. There's much to take into consideration when you get in a fight in Tarkov and you can't always make the right decision. But sometimes you can find that you make the same mistake over and over again without being aware of it. I'm Last Corax. We stream over on twitch.tv slash last underscore Corax. Feel free to stop by. It's always nice meeting new people. Let me know if you like this content in the comments below and consider leaving a like. Now let's take a look at this mess. Now this needs a little bit of explanation before we start. We just came from Queen's building, pushed down to the bunkers, and we saw a guy like in the middle of the room near the switch to turn the power on. We got him, but after that, we heard like a grenade launcher being used way farther down. Like we didn't see any smoke or anything. We just heard the sound. I'm, I was 100% sure there was a grenade launcher. So we moved all the way around and you know, it was generally not, not the smartest thing to do because I knew it might be that we come across this guy with a grenade launcher and be all salty. But this is where this picks up. Nika snook up my snares. And we got a winner. Got him. Here, when we peek it, we kind of peek it too wide. And we see this guy, like you can see a shadow on the left side, like in the middle of that wall, because there's like a there's like a small opening where you can hide. So that's why I run back. We see the guy. I thought this was grenade launcher guy. And I don't know, like I'm thinking, oh, he didn't shoot, you know, maybe either he didn't have any bullets anymore or whatever. So I move back. And we got a winner. And because I assume this is a grenade launcher guy, I don't want to just peek that again, right? And, I mean, even if, it, if it's not him, it's a good thing to do what we do here. It's something we talked about before. Using the grenades to get somebody out of their position. So I use the wall to try and lob the grenade that, like, it bounces against the wall. So it falls in that little opening in that hallway. And I know if the grenade comes close, he has to move. So we throw the nade. And we use that to immediately peek and fire because I knew he had to move and I tried to just get the trap on him. So that's all finished. And then we are another guy running. I was thinking though this was somebody else, but I wasn't sure. I mean... Show him at the end of the hallway. And we got grenade launcher guy. Generally, the best thing to do is just run away, man. Um, like, especially if you're newer. Fighting these, it's it can be really difficult. Because sometimes you don't even have to peek. If he knows that you're at the corner of a wall, he can just shoot at the ground. And, like, if he hits really close, you're dead. There's different type of grenades this one didn't seem like a really big one but there are grenades that have quite a range on like on what distance they can kill you when they explode i hear this guy running around now what we do here i'll let it yeah okay what we do here i'm peeking i'm, I'm holding an angle on that door i'm turning off my laser so he doesn't know for sure and we're on a ramp right so I move down the ramp a little bit so that if he hits the ground in front of me, I'm hoping I won't die. I'm, I'm not 100% sure at this moment. I mean, it's a total risk that we're taking this fight. But so I'm guessing that if he shoots and he's going to hit the ground in front of me, it doesn't kill me because we're down the ramp. And there's a big chance that he shoots over me because it's going downhill. Grenades, like I haven't sh shooting one myself but they, they they lob down right so i was just hoping that it might would go over me you know that he has to actually hit me with the grenade 
in order to kill me. And I would think that's harder for him to do than me capping a few bullets in his ass. I figured he would really quickly peek, like what he's doing now. So we re we reposition after he shoots, right? He shoots, he misses us, we move to the left, so he doesn't have the exact same beat on us. And I, ac I accidentally move forward, and I'm moving back again or because of the reason I was talking about, right? That if he shoots the ground right in front of us, that we're not dying, that we're like a little bit on this downhill incline or whatever you want to call it. Here I move up, which isn't the best thing to do, but I wanted a different angle again. And here, now he's just shooting with an assault rifle or whatever it was. So I figure this is my time to push forward because either he doesn't have any nades anymore or he has to reload. And we don't have the best close range gun because, you know, long barrel, semi automatic. It's not the best for fighting close range, but I'll try moving with that grenade. Now we're to our left side, which makes it easier for us to do the right peak. I didn't want him to be on that right side. Uh, I did not know if that grenade would push him to the left side. I'm happy it did. So I felt way more comfortable. To push up because as I said, we have a long barrel. If we if we peek that door, then you know our gun is gonna point into us. And if it's the left side, then we have to move more of our body through that door. And you know, at the last point we're we're gonna be standing like this with our gun pointing towards the side, and he has a very way better shot at us. Just pre fire. So, we were pretty happy that we got that kill. Um, here? Yeah, we're just baiting shots. Because, you know, we already heard him shoot a few times. Um, I, I did not know what he was shooting with, to be honest. And like here... We hear him shoot. It doesn't sound too quick. I can't even remember what he was shooting with. I think it was like something like a SKS or, or something. But he shot a few rounds. And sometimes I make the mistake of pushing out because I'm like, oh, they shot. You know, now, now I can push. But it's better if you have the opportunity. Try and bait that multiple times. Try, try and show your gun sticking out. Try and peek with your shoulders so they're gonna shoot more try and let them spend as much ammo as they can because not even do they maybe have to reload like if it's gonna be a longer fight they don't have enough bullets in that mag and a lot of times it freaks people out like people are starting to panic if they bah, 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 they shoot they miss you peek again or you you, you bait them again to shoot again they miss a, a lot of bullets again they're gonna start to warn out oh like crap i'm getting low on my magazine what I'm gonna do, you know? And it, it, it takes them out of their comfort zone. So we're trying to peek that. We're trying to get that reaction again. He shoots again, that's when we push out. I'm pretty sure he wasn't out of ammo yet. Um, But I don't think he was expecting that peek again, you know? So we pick, quickly peek. And what a lot of people do. This is, this is a good tip, by the way. What a lot of people do when you try and bait that peek. Like you're not only are not only are you baiting your enemy to shoot with peeking, but you're also getting a read, right? Because you're seeing where this guy is. So it's easier for you that if you push out to prepare your crosshair placement, to prepare for what is gonna come, you know where to look for him. What a lot of people do though, like if you quickly peek, then they peek again really quickly. Cause they peek, oh I know where he is, and I push out. But what a lot of people do to counter that, they like shoot. And like, if you go back from your peak, they're going to shoot again, like r right away. You know, they're going to keep popping those shots at the place where you peaked because they might think that you're going to peak again. So try and change the speed at which you peak, you know, like 
sometimes do one peak, wait a little bit, do another peak, then do a really quick peak. Keep them guessing, you know, just try and not be, try and not do the same thing over and over again. Now this was a little bit different, it's actually a fight we won, I think we played that very well, it's a very recent clip, and, uh, man, we're trying to improve, you know, and we'll have good days and bad days, but I definitely feel like we're, we're doing better, and, uh, yeah, as I said, man, there, there's still days where we mess up really badly, um, but there's also days where we just meet better players, and that's it, man, you, you can't win every fight in Tarkov, try and be cool about it, you know, no need to get upset or try and rage. See what you can do to improve. See what you can change and go with that. That was it. That was it for me today. Hope you have a good day and uh, see you next time.